Okay, so uh, if this is working, let's go ahead and uh, do a simple test. What I've done is I've taken the um, the DOS box MPU 401 code and uh, ported it to QEMU. So this is version 9, or 09. It's very old. But yeah, let's uh, fire up Doom 1.1. We all know this one. So, yeah, here we go. So this is Doom 1.1. The uh, first commercial release, yeah, under QMU with uh, Sound Blaster and uh, MPU. Uh, okay, that's fun. But let's try uh, Windows. So this is Doom for Windows on Windows 3.1. Same thing. I, know, I like this one because it's quieter, but yeah, so this is Doom for Windows. This is the Win32S version with WinG, Win Video. Oh my god, all this crap. But set up to go through the uh, the MPU 401, which is redirecting to the Windows 10 uh, MIDI device. I believe Microsoft could have deal with um, some big music provider. I think it was, uh, oh gosh, what do you call it? Uh, Roland. I think they licensed this uh, sound font through Roland. It sounds pretty good. Well, to me, anyways. So let's see if we minimize that. How it still plays. So yes, this is Windows 3.1. Nothing up my sleeve, so to speak. So uh, let's try good old Canyon. File open. Mid. You get the idea. It sounds a lot better than the Ablib. So, yeah. How about that, huh? Teach a whole dog some tricks. Um, let's see. Go ahead and reboot. And I do have Windows NT on here. Version 3.5. The only problem with this one is the, um, the MPU 401 doesn't detect. I can't figure out why. I'm sure it's something I've done. So if I go to set this thing up, MPU 401, it's port port 330, and then just watch the bottom there. It's going to go ahead and detect it. And then it says it can't find it. I'm like, what? Hmm. So maybe this is why some things lock up or don't detect properly? I don't know. It's almost amazing the stuff that does work, does work. So, on this thing we're stuck with the uh, the crappy ad lib. so under Windows NT let me just show you what uh, Doom sounds like with the ad lib. It's it's not as good. And MT35 is just not as uh, not as tuned as well, I guess. As, uh, 
3-1, at least running on this old PMU. Wow, this doesn't sound so different though. You know, I can't help but think it is using some of you. Does that sound like ad lib at all? And go. A lot of things don't like it. Like here for the return to Zork. Uh, yeah, change. So, sound device, sound blaster, 220, 5-1. I go MPU MIDI. It doesn't let me select a port. Say no to all that. I'll put them sure. Sure. Yeah, sure. Alright, find RTV. So you did an MPU reset. The return to Zork. And it should be playing music. And showing the rest of the screen, which it is not. So, yeah. So gonna change sound blaster to 25-1 sound blaster. Yeah, sure, whatever. That's fine. The return to Zork. <laughs> of QMU. <laughs> Heavily modified, I guess. But, um, yeah, I'll uh, include a download link in the uh, description for anyone who's crazy enough to want to play along. If you want something easy, use DOSBox. Oh my god, use DOSBox. This is not easy. Um, this is full system emulation. It's very command line driven. So you will have to install your own version of MS-DOS or any other operating system. This is not for casual users, but you know, I like it, especially now that it, is, uh, it sounds good, you know? So yeah, it's enough of me rambling. Ten minutes, oh my god, this is way too long. I'll catch you all later. Bye!